Hey, I'm Miller Huggins. This is Z-Man, and today I'm coming at you with another uh, contraptions video. Yeah, what's up? Um, this is another request video, except this is kind of a little bit different. I viewed this as more of a challenge request. Um, so anyway, comment really quick. Um, so I got a comment. Uh, it was like yesterday uh, from Carlos Spicy Wiener. So Carlos Spicy Wiener. Sorry, gotta do it in a Spanish accent or whatever. Uh, but so anyway, he wants me to, uh, he commented on my unhackable combination lock door, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but so anyway, he wanted me to um, make a locking door with, uh, that you have to like hit the levers in the correct order. Um, so I took that as a challenge because I had never done anything like that. I haven't, yeah, I just, I like to use redstone in practical matters, farms, and blah blah blah. But so anyway, um, so I took it as a challenge, and I wanted to try my best at it. And this this was my first attempt, and I actually succeeded. It took me a little while to do, but and figure it out and all. But I got it done, and it works pretty well. And like I I I can't think of a better way to do it yet. Um, but yeah. So anyway, here's uh, my final. Thing. Uh, so you have inputs right here, so one, two, three, four, <clears throat> and of course the door. Uh, I got the combination right there. Uh, so let's see if let's see if this baby works. So oh, goddamn lag. Uh, so four, one, uh, two, three. So four, one, two, three, and opens. See just like that. So uh, let's reset this really quick. So. Um, let let let's say you guys don't believe me. Um, so let's try a different input. So just like uh, one, two, three, four. Nothing. Yeah. So again, um, it it actually does work. I will show you guys the redstone right now. Uh, it is like gigantic compared to my uh, unhackable combination lock door. Um, and it took a long time. It it took me quite a while to figure out what exactly I'm do I was doing. Um, but so anyway, I'll I'll build a new one here in a second, but just so you guys can kind of see how it works. Flip, flop, flippy, flop open. <laughs> and that is that. Uh, and it does reset, so you, you it's not just like a one chance thing. I'm not sure about um, making a punishment system for that. I might make an additional video because that is a lot, lot harder to make than uh, my other door. Like a punishment system for this would be a lot harder than the other one. Uh, but so anyway, I'm going to really quickly um, move over and uh, show you guys really quickly how, to, how, to, how this kind of works. Uh, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I, I got a little bit of stuff set up really quick. Um, but so anyway, I'm just going to do this with two levers. Uh, basically, all you do is just kind of repeat the same step over and over again to make it bigger and use uh, use more levers. Um, but so pretty quickly, um, easiest way to do this is reverse, uh, reverse the um, power. And then... So... Whoops. Um, need a repeater right there. So this is this is the general setup really quick. Um, so how this works is this kind of just locks this input. So this has to be the first input, or else this um, this torch right there will not turn on. So what that does. So it does that and then it brings this uh, input out. It, it makes it so that it go. It also goes over it as well as locks. Um, so if you flick this one first uh, and then f try and flick this one, it doesn't do anything. It won't do anything. The only way to have uh, to make that activate is to flick this one first. Um, of course, as soon as you flick this one, uh, it's going to go off again. But the, uh, the point is that you turned it on. So what you do is uh, get rid of that torch. And um, you make a what's called a memory gate. 
Now, if you guys don't know what a memory gate is, uh, I will put a link in the description for some of the basic logic gates. Uh, I'm trying to think of how exactly I need to put this thing in here to make it the easiest. Uh, I think it's like this. I'm just going to back it up a little bit. There we go. Um, but so anyway, it looks, it looks just like this. Um, and, and this power right here needs to go into the naturally, uh, what is it? It's, is it the naturally on one? Oh, 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 wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, I have it on. Okay, so that, that's that's why. <laughs> there we go. Um, so anyway, it needs to go into the naturally on one. So that one's going to be naturally on. Uh, and then if as long as this torch is on, uh, that won't re it won't uh, flip these powers. Um, but so anyway, uh, there is a problem with this that you have to fix, and that is that when you f like flip flop this lever. Uh, it doesn't reset the memory gate. So to fix that, you have to go uh, not off this, because if you do that, it's getting power from the other lever. So you have to go before the other lever. It's so like right up here. And you have to make, oh, there we go. You have to make it so that it'll flip flop with the lever. So you have the memory gate uh, so that it'll flip flop with, with this lever. So every time you press it, it'll flip flop with the lever. And it will not be, uh, and because um, <laughs> because it's a memory gate, this uh, this won't affect it anymore because it's not uh, flipping it because it's not connected to this part that will re that resets it every time. Um, and so what you do then? So this is this is powered, right? That's powered. Okay. So what you got to do then? is just have these two going into the same one. That's not right. No, no, no. There. Okay. Okay. Um, need to move this off a little bit. Or not. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Sorry guys. I I've it's just, this is a little bit complicated, so it's kind of hard to build off memory. Uh, but still So now we got that input. So it uh, that input right there is directly connected to this memory gate, so that if this memory gate isn't flipped the other way, uh, this torch will never turn on. And the torch is connected to this, but see, if I flip flip the switch, the torch won't turn on because it's connected to the memory gate. And so this uh, this is um, this is flipped. It locks the memory gate because this doesn't do anything anymore. So what you have to do, the only way to get that out, that out, uh, that torch right there to turn on is to flick this one first and then this one, and then the second switch. It's the only way to do it. And so what we do after that is we just uh, run a line of redstone straight to the door. There we go. And so we reset this you will see this does not work. The only way to get this door to open is go like that. Do it in the correct order. Um, now guys, I'm not exactly um, an expert uh, at redstone. I'm not. I do, um, I do it kind of just how I think it should be done. Um, if you guys can think of a better way to do this, please be my guest. Um, make a video of it or um, try and describe it to me but like uh, take a picture or something like that but like videos pictures stuff like that would be the best way to like show me exactly what uh, how you think it should be done uh, but try it out like do like try it I mean you don't you don't have to go directly off my build because again I'm not an expert I don't know exactly like the the best and smallest and all that junk way to do uh, all of this stuff I kinda just go with my gut and see how it goes and this way that I did it this time just seemed to work out. It did take me a while to figure out, but again, it's just like, it, it's probably not the best way to do it, but it's how I did it. So, again, uh, thank you, Carlos Spicy Wiener, for the uh, challenge. I really liked it. If you guys have anything else that you guys want me to build, please be my guest. Comment all that junk. I just, I, I want something to do. Give me something to do, please. Please. 
but uh, I love challenges and I like you guys uh, commenting and wanting me to do stuff so just keep that stuff up uh, so anyway uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe all that junk it's died your trunk what's up um, but so anyway <laughs> um, hope you guys like this video if not let me know why I don't care um, <laughs> anyway I, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out what to do what to do next I guess and I will see you guys next week see you motherfuckers later bye bye